Testing. Testing. Matt, T- Tim, Cody, Cindy, anyone else that's listening right now, if you could send me a text and let me know if the volume is good or if I need to drop it or if I'm okay. Testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. Once again, testing, testing, Matt, Cindy, Cody, Tim, if you guys are hearing this right now, please let me know. Testing, testing. Testing the Central City Junior Senior High Activities live stream. We are live at Dunkerton. Testing, testing. Cindy McCarthy is hearing me tonight. That is good to hear. Welcome everyone to the inaugural inaugural live stream of Central City Wildcat Athletics and Activities. Our YouTube channel is called Central City Junior Senior High Activities. Tonight we are live at Dunkerton where the Central City Girls Basketball Varsity Team is taking on the Dunkerton Raiders in round two of state tournament action for road to state. I'll be giving you play by play. Looks like everybody's warming up. There's 448 left on the warm up clock right now. The Wildcats are in the locker room. Coach is giving them a little pep talk before we get started here in round two of girls state district play. The Raiders are out shooting and warming up still. Here come the girls, Wildcat girls out of the locker room. Pretty good showing of fans up here tonight. The gymnasium here for the Raiders is a very nice gym, a little bit bigger than the Wildcats gym and there's a couple of areas for uh, doing the radio show like tonight, like what I'm doing here. Um, Also the seating a little bit a little bit larger seating what we have. Red and black are their colors, just like Central City. Uh, very nice gym. Probably the nicest gym uh, so far. Uh, Tanner Carlson is here with me tonight, Cindy McCarthy. Rode up in the game to the game with me and uh, Miss Yoder and her two boy her two kids, uh, Mac and Wade came up as well. About three and a half minutes left here for warm-ups before we hear the starting lineups. I'm gonna take a little break right now and hit mute and uh, we'll be going here in about five, 10 minutes.
Testing, testing. Uh, can you hear me now? Can everyone hear me now? Can anyone out there in Wildcat land that's listening to the video let me know whether you can hear me now? Testing, testing. Wildcats with the ball. Cindy McCarthy or Matt Weiss, can you let me know if you are getting this? Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Can you hear me now, Wildcats? Should be able to hear me now. We're live here in Dunkerton. Okay, we're back. Okay, so Wildcat fans out there, um, sorry about the delay. It's 4:01 left in the first quarter. Uh, Dunkerton's at the line. They're up 11 to one. Looks like number 54, McKenna Boshan, the senior. There's McKenna Boshan, a senior, Michaela Boshan, a sophomore on the team. Boshan hits the first free throw on one to one. Sorry, two shots, 12 to one, Raiders. Second one off the front of the rim, Sam Camp with rebound. Testing, testing. Can you hear me now? Wondering what is going on with my voice here. Uh, looks, sounds like maybe it's a little loud. Let's see if I can cover up my hand. It's a little bit loud up here. It's 12 to one, Raiders. Uh, it looks like a 30 second timeout called by the Raiders here. Raiders come, <laughs> Raiders come out of the timeout with the ball. Boshin's gonna be inbounding to Maddie Howland. Howland's a sophomore, looks like she's their primary point guard. We're evenly matched up here today. Uh, not really a lot of tall girls. Looks like tallest girls on the quarter, Sam Camp, Emily Kramer, and McKenna Novi. actually. Looks like Wildcats might have the height advantage just a little bit. Emily Kramer with the ball in the wing, passes it to the front to Maddie Miller, who's subbed in. Maddie Tridel swings it back to Emily Kramer at the top of the key. Sam Camp with a three-point attempt, just off the mark, rebound, Howland. Howland swings the ball out to Johnson, the junior, inbounds. Shot goes up, looks like there's a jump ball. Sam Camp in on that jump ball with, it's like number 44 for the, the Raiders, Hannah Jacobson, she's a sophomore. Jump ball gives Raiders the ball. Maddie Tridel steals the inbounds ball, but she can't hang on to it at half court. She tries to take off on a fast break. 3-10 left here in the first quarter. 12-1 Raiders. Start out the game, Caitlin Wilder, a freshman, scored the first seven points for the Raiders. Three-pointer by Alicia Kimball, senior from the Raiders, makes it 15 to one. Maddie Tridel brings the ball down, swings the ball on the side. It looks like the Wildcats got five out, five out right now. We got girls cut, cut into the basket. Maddie Tridel with the ball, tries to dribble to the, to the baseline. Looks like she's gonna be fouled. Number 32, Alicia Kimball, the, the senior from Dunkerton. Here comes Wilder, the, the red hot freshman. He started out the game seven, seven points. Checks in for number 24, Howland. Wildcat ball out of bounds. 
Sam Camp with the ball, passes over to Maddie Tridel, swings it back to Emily Kramer. Wildcats are playing a little three out game right now. Flem Sam Camp drives to the basket, through a crowd, just off the mark, gets her own rebound. Passed over to Emily Kramer at the three point line. Camp puts up a two pointer, a deep two, just a step inside the three. Wildcats got three. 15-3 Raiders, two minutes left in the first quarter. Wildcats stay in the 2-3 the zone. Raiders are moving the ball pretty well early tonight. 32 freshman Wilders are not afraid to shoot the ball. She just missed the second three in a row here and Wildcats with the ball. Maddie Fleming with the ball. Camp cuts to the middle. She doesn't see her. The ball hits the back of Sam Camp. Raiders take the ball down the court. It looks like there's going to be a travel on the Raiders. Traveling on the Raiders with 1.39 left. It's 15 to 3, Raiders. Emily Kramer in ball, inbounds the ball to Sam Camp. Back to Emily Kramer who brings the ball across half court. Maddie Tridel swinging the ball around. It looks like the girls are playing man-to-man -man defense for the Raiders. Skirmish for the ball, looks like Maddie Fleming with a shot on the wing, misses, Raiders get the ball. Wildcats still sitting in the 2-3 zone. Kenna Boshin swings the ball across the court to number 32, Alicia Kimball, who hits another three. They are a three-point shooting team, 18-3. Oh, uh, looks like no sh Boshin stole the inbounds ball, passes it out to Kimball, who shoots another three, misses, but the Raiders get the ball. 44 seconds left in the first quarter. Kimball with the ball, surveys the situation, passes it out to Wilder for three, she's off. Ball goes out of bounds off the Raiders, Wildcats ball. Already early, we've got probably about 10 or 11 three-point attempts by the Raiders. They're clearly a three-point shooting team. Wildcats can't seem to keep them off the boards right now in the long rebounds. Maddie Tridel gets the ball stolen, trapped right across half court. Sam Ulenkamp, Sam Ulenkamp swats McKenna Boshin as she tries to shoot a layup, but the Raiders get the ball. They pull it back out to reset. Raiders with the ball. Wilder looks inside the post, throws it away. Wildcats ball with 13 seconds left here in the first quarter. 18-3, Sam Camp with the ball, 12-11. Looks to Maddie Tridel, wide open on the right side. On uh, Maddie, kind of a wild shot, couldn't keep her hands on the ball. Looks like they're gonna call a body foul on the Raiders. Number 44, Hannah Jacobson with the foul. 7.4 seconds left. The Wildcats got the ball right underneath their basket. The inbounds to Sam Camp Puts up a shot. Off the mark. Rebound Raiders. 2-1. They're not going to get a shot off. That's going to end the first quarter. 18-3. Raiders are leading this one. Well, looks like the Wildcats are going to Start a little slow, very similar to last week in Don Bosco and Matt Weiss and Kinnick and myself and Cooper walked into the beginning of the second quarter as 21 to three. Um, looks like we're three points better in this one. We're, we're only 18 to three. I'd like to say I like our odds because we like to start out slow. I think we Wildcats like to make it an interesting game. Let's hope that we can get our defense going a little bit sooner. They're sitting in that zone with the, our guards are sitting underneath the three point line. You know, last week, when up against Don Bosco, we extended our guards and they started picking up the ball around half court and we got some steals. We'll see if Coach Hazlett tries to switch it up a little bit here and get our defense going. It's gonna be the Wildcats ball and sidelines. Jessica Eaton's gonna be inbounding the ball to Sam Camp. Looks like the starting lineups are all back out on the court here. 
Jessica Eaton with the three-pointer, and it's good. Eaton with the three at the top of the key. 18-6, Wildcats are down. Raiders got the ball. Wildcats looks like they're extending their 2-3 zone a little bit. The freshman, Wilder, walks with the ball, so it's going to be a turnover by the Raiders. Jessica Eaton will be inbound, and looks like the Raiders are going to check in number 14, Hannah Johnson, the junior. She comes in for Wilder, who just traveled. Sam Camp brings the ball up. We see a pick and roll at the half court line from Courtney McGovern and Sam. Sam's got the ball at the three point line now. Swings it over to Courtney McGovern, who passes it back over to Maddie Miller, and Maddie Miller travels. It's like Maddie took a little extra step there when she was trying to pass in the Ewing Camp, cut to the basket. It's going to be Raiders' ball. For 32, Alicia Kimball brings the ball up. Alicia is a senior. One of the two starting seniors on the squad. Wildcats still sitting in that 2-3 zone. Raiders are being patient, passing the ball around. Balls keep swinging back and forth here. Alicia Kimball drives all the way through the lane, across the court to the other side. Kimball gets the ball in the left wing. Courtney McGovern playing pretty tight defense with her. Kimball falls down. Courtney McGovern with some solid D up up against the guards. Courtney McGovern pressing the point guard. Looks like they're going to get her with the body foul. It's going to be Courtney's first foul of the night. Right now in the court, it looks like for the Raiders, number 32, Alicia Kimball's a leading scorer. She's got six. Michaela Boshin's got two, and McKenna Boshin's got three. Raiders inbounds the ball. McGovern with tight pressure up front. They're extending that 2-3 zone out now and pressuring the, the ball out front. There's a good drive by Maddie Howland, the sophomore. Hits a little jumper. Puts the Raiders up 20-6. Six. six minutes left here in the second quarter. Maddie Tridal looks in to Courtney McGovern. Gives it back to Maddie Tridal. Maddie drives. Shoots up a left-handed shot that Looks like she didn't get her legs underneath her um, air ball. Goes out of bounds. Looks like they're going to call it a block, maybe. Yeah, they're going to say it went off the Raiders' hands. So it's going to be the Wildcat ball underneath their basket. In checks number 52, Caitlin Wilder comes back in for, for Kimball. Kimball takes a rest. Senior's got a couple of three-pointers tonight. Kenna Novi's passed the ball in underneath the basket. Courtney McGovern wide open. Misses, Novi gets the rebound, and looks like she's fouled. Novi's gonna be going to the line for two here. Looks like the foul's gonna be on number 40, Michaela Boshin, the sophomore. That is her third foul. Looks like she's gonna be in some early foul trouble. Novi at the line, bounces off the rim a couple times and doesn't go in. Novi's first shot doesn't go in, it's 20 to six. Here comes the second shot. Basket is good, 20 to seven. Wildcats run back and sit in their two, three zone. Raiders come down in a hurry, trying to speed up the game. Wild throw by Wilder, no pun intended. Goes out of bounds, goes over the head of, of her point guard, Maddie Howland, it's gonna be Wildcats ball. Carlson is sitting next to McGovern right now in front of me. I told him to come up and be a guest lecturer, or guest announcer, however you want to call it. Sam Camp drives to the basket. Looks like they're going to call the body. Looks like it's going to be number 54, McKenna Boshin. That's her first foul. Six fouls for the Raiders and three for the Wildcats early in the second quarter. We've got a moving screen. Moving screen by McKenna Novi. Looks like that's a call against the Wildcats. First foul for Novi. Yeah. 
Not a lot of color commentary today, boys and girls. You just get the facts. And yes, I am an ex-wrestler, but I've got a basketball playing brother, and I can outshoot my superintendent in a three-point contest or free throws. Take your pick. Looks like the Wildcats sit in the zone. Ball goes into the middle. Hannah Jacobson with a little baby hook is good. 22 to seven Raiders. Wildcats inbound the ball. It goes off court in McGovern's hands into the Raiders' hands. Looks like there's a little bit of a, oh, wow. 32, Alicia Kimball with the pump fake. Looks like she got away with the travel there. They end up calling a, a foul on uh, number five, Sam Camp. The basket's good. Kimball goes the line off the back iron, no good. Camp with the rebound, 24 to seven. Raiders, Camp with the ball at the top of the key, swings it over to Tridal. Tridal throws it over to Eaton across court. Hands it to Novi on the west, left wing who gives to Courtney McGovern, who goes through the middle of the lane. Courtney has a lot of contact, misses, gets her own rebound, a lot of contact again, and no foul called McGovern on either one of those two shots that she missed. Raiders push the ball down. Looks like the Raiders are sticking with their three-point three point line, moving the ball around. They find Kimball wide open on the side. She misses. Eaton with the rebound. Four minutes and 30 seconds left here in the second quarter. Wildcats down 24 to seven. Courtney McGovern throws to the top of the key to Jessica Eaton. Wilder steps in for the steal and misses a wide open layup. Maddie Tridel tries to grab the rebound. No one's around her. Ball bounces off her hands out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Raiders. Eaton checks out. In comes Fleming. Looks like they're sticking in the 2 3 zone here. Raiders ball on the side. Kimball dribbles to the, to the wing. Passes it back out to Howland. Swings it over to Wilder. Down to the Boshin in the free throw line, swatted by Sam Eulenkamp. Out to Maddie Tridal at the top. Maddie on a fast break, a lot of contact. Looks like they're gonna call this one on the floor. Fouls on number 52, the freshman, Caitlin Wilder. It's her first foul of the night. Wilder stuck on seven points. Wilder scored the first seven points for the Raiders and hasn't been able to connect since. Raiders are still up 24 to seven. Tridal goes to the line and misses the first one, but rebound Sam Camp Misses the layup, Raiders pass out. They left the girl wide open. Howland's on the back end. Cherry picking and with the easy layup. 26-7 Raiders. Camp finds Kramer on the wing. Over to Fleming, Fleming dribbles. Kramer sets a pick. Tridal at the top of the key, back over to the wing to Kramer, back to the top of the key. Looks like Whitson checked in. Jacqueline Whitson in the game, hits Sam Hulenkamp at the top of the key. Sam with three pointer, bounces off the backboard. Doesn't look like she got any iron on that one. Re rebound Raiders. Raiders push the ball up. Howland on the wing, misses. Rebound Emily Kramer. Hulenkamp bringing the ball up. Three minutes left, 26 7. Wildcats. Down 26-7 early, well, early in the game, middle of the second quarter. Fleming looks over to Emily Kramer with a jump shot just inside three-point line, misses, rebound, Raiders. Raiders push the ball again, looks like Maddie Tridal steals the ball, top of the key, she's got a one-on-one -on -one fast break, and it's good. Tridal with the steal and the fast break bucket, 26-9. Wildcats starting to apply that defensive pressure they like to do with the guards up front. Whitson meets, meets Kimball out top of the key. Wilder wide open on the wing. Can't leave her open. Wilder hits again. She's got 10 points in the night. Raiders back up 29-9. Two minutes left, Fleming with the ball in the wing. Hits the corner, hits the Whitson. Whitson over to Emily Kramer. Kramer back to the top of the key to Sam Camp. Sam surveys the situation. Throws it behind Fleming, but Fleming gets a hold of it. Fleming drives in. Looks like it's gonna be another foul on Wilder. 
Wilder there's quite the three-point shooter, and looks like she's having some trouble keeping up with the quick feet of the Wildcat girls. Reaches in and commits her second foul early. Lemming, Lemming at the free throw line. line. First, first half, 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 good, good. Eaton gets and gets the bound, bounds like it's like all eat, all eat, double, dribble, dribble. 29 and 9. Hey, thanks, hey, thanks for the golf, golf comment. Hey, you get the facts, 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 facts. If you don't like golf, you don't like the hockey pockets. Wilder passes over to Kimball. Kimball launches up a three. Eaton blocks out. Looks like Eaton did a good job of blocking out. Number 44, Hannah Jacobson is going to call over the back. It's going to be her second foul of the night. The ninth team foul for the ninth team foul for the Raiders. This will put Eaton at the line for one and one. One forty-two left in the one forty-two left in the half. Eaton hits the back of the backboard, misses, but Eulenkamp with the rebound and the putback. Nice layup, putback by Eulenkamp, makes it 29 to 11. Raiders push the ball again. They're pushing, pushing. Sam Eulenkamp with a, with a block. Kimball tried taking it into the hole, and Sam Eulenkamp gets her third block of the night. Ball goes out of bounds off Sam. Here comes Wilder, the freshman, checks back in. She's got 10 points in the night. Raiders inbounds the ball. Kimball dribbles through the lane. Puts a shot off the backboard. Kisses the rim and in. 31 to 11 Raiders. Maddie Tridel inbounds the ball. Looks up to Whitson underneath the basket. Whitson passes back out three point line to Sam Ewenkamp who drives in through the lane. Wide open off the glass. Ewenkamp is good. 31 13. Raiders. Raiders push the ball quickly up the court. Catch the Wildcats sleeping a little bit. Looks like Jessica Eaton, they're gonna call her on a reach-in foul. Wilder had the ball. Looked like she might have taken a couple steps, but they're gonna say that Eaton fouled her before she traveled. Raiders ball underneath their own basket. Ball inbounds to Howland. Pass it over to Kimball, Kimball's in the wing, dribbles through the middle of the lane. Looks like there's a lot of body there. They're gonna call Tritle with the body foul. That'll be seven team fouls on the Wildcats. Alicia Kimball, the senior, will be shooting one and one with 53 seconds left, up 31-13. Courtney McGovern checks into the game. Kimball makes the first one. 32-13. Kimball's got 11 early on. Kimball hits the second one. 33-13. 50 seconds left. Fleming in the ball, inbounds the ball to Ewing Camp, brings it across half court, and throws it. Not real sure where Sam was throwing it. Looked like Sam just turned and threw the ball and there was no one standing in the area. The ball just kind of went out of bounds. I think she was expecting Fleming to be there and Fleming left the area. Raiders inbounds the ball with 40 seconds left. Looks like Raiders are gonna play four corners. Kimball with the ball. Wildcats extend their zone all the way out to about half court. They're gonna pressure the ball a little. They're a little contact there from McGovern and Howland. Raiders are playing keep away here. 18 seconds left, 17, 16. Boshin dribbles in and passes it back out to the three-point line to Wilder. Wilder hands the ball off to Kimball. Kimball drives in. Looks like they're gonna, looks like she tripped, but I think they're going to call this a body foul on the ground. They're going to call Sam Eulenkamp with the, with the body with 6.4 seconds left, and Kimball going to the free throw line for 1-1. That's Sam Eulenkamp's second team foul. 
her second personal foul. Kimmel makes the first free throw. I don't have the stats in front of me, but I can tell you by the Kimball shot, this is probably a real good free throw shooter. We're not going to want to foul her late. Kimball hits a second. Kimball's four for four on the night. Six seconds left, 35-13. Ulenkamp passes up to Whitson. Two, one. Whitson throws up the ball. They're not going to say she got the shot off in time. At the buzzer, Wildcats are down, 35-13 going into the half. Nine and 18 fouls. Pretty evenly matched game as far as height looks like. The Raiders really like to push the ball on offense. Wildcats gonna have to get back on defense and get their offensive going. I'm gonna go take a bathroom break and we'll come back for the second half. Thanks for tuning in to the Central City Junior Senior High Activities Wildcat page.
So I'm here in Dunkerton, where it's halftime of the Central City Wildcats versus the Dunkerton Raiderettes. And uh, I'm standing here with the Central City boys basketball coaches, uh, Tanner Carlson and John McGovern, who have a big battle next week against uh, Albernet at Northland. And uh, welcome, coaches. Thank you. Mac. Thanks, Mac. Uh, so tell me, Coach Carlson, I'll start with you. Uh, how, do you how do you feel like the boys are doing, and are they ready to go against Albernet? I think we're pretty pretty well prepped and uh, ready to go. We we got a little revenge on our minds from earlier games in the season, so uh, I think we're ready. Anything special you got uh, cooked up for the Albernet Pirates? Of course, but we're not going to broadcast it to the whole world here. Uh, I don't think the whole world's here. <laughs> Surely Albernet's not. <laughs> Coach Coach McGovern, what do you, what do you think about the uh, Coach Carlson and the boys this season? How do you, how do you feel like you guys have been doing? Uh, we've gotten better as the year went along. Uh, we've made a lot of improvements since the beginning of the year, and the, the boys have been playing hard all year. And awesome. Uh, who do you, who do you what do you feel like's one thing that you feel like Coach Carlson's done a better job of this year? <laughs> We're just testing John McGovern if he can think on his feet here. <laughs> to, the, to, to the five people listening to this, I hope you could hear. I hope you could hear Carlson and McGovern laughing. Uh, tonight, I'm going to ask Carlson to talk a little bit about what he sees from the Wildcat ladies here, and see see what we think we need to do second half. Great. Uh, well, they, they jumped on us early, and um, we haven't been able to break the press. They've been putting a lot of pressure on our guards. Our guards have uh, not handled the pressure very well. Um, we haven't gotten many shot attempts up, which uh, has obviously hurt our, our point total. But hopefully, uh, hopefully we can stop their penetration in the second half in, a, in our zone, or, or apply a little bit more pressure on their guards. And uh, yeah, and now Max making me laugh. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much the broadcast from the first half, from my perspective. Uh, we'll be getting a guest commentator here in the second half. Tanner Carlson is going to step in and take care of some of the action. He's been memorizing the names here the first half, and he's he's looking to, to give a little bit of feedback in the game. Coach Coach Carlson McGovern, thanks for thanks for coming to our first broadcast ever. Yeah, thank you, Matt. Thank thank you. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a bathroom break. We'll be coming back here. Carlson will be Carlson will be leading us away here.
So we're live here to start the second half, and uh, start off with a turnover from the from the Wildcats, 37-13. This, this is not a, this is not my future. <laughs> so, uh, 52 passes it around to 32. Um, dribble, the Cats come out in a man-to-man -to, -man to start the second half. Ball gets passed down to Camp. Good job, chest up. Kicks it ahead to Tridel. Maddie Tridel for the layup is fouled. The shoot two, lands pretty hard. Hits against the wall, hopefully she's okay. She comes up all right. Maddie will go to the line to shoot two free throws. She had three points in the first half. First one is up and just short. The Raiders uh, student section comes out with uh, beach night and has a toy shark, which is kind of entertaining. Uh, we miss a second. Um, foul, oh, nope, steps on the line. So good job by Emily Kramer, moving her feet. Cats win on the ball. Seven minutes, 17 seconds to go in the third quarter. 37-13. Yolen Camp passes it down low to Maddie Tridel, which is stolen by 32, Alicia Kimball. Passes ahead to 54, McKenna Boshin, who's fouled. Raiders will take it out on the baseline. We're on a little screen the screener play and uh, number 32, Alicia Kimball with the layup. Cats lost her with the screener screen, action, screen the screener action. Maddie Tridel kicks ahead to Courtney McGovern who puts up a three, short, no good. Raiders come back, passing ahead. They are very good in transition. Uh, 32, Alicia Kimball drives, kicks out to uh, number 52, Caitlin Wilder. Who feeds the post to number 40, Michaela Boshin. Shot up, no good. Samantha Camp with the rebound, who's looking to push. Kicks ahead to Maddie Tridel, who kicks ahead to Courtney McGovern. Courtney with a good pass to Samantha, who puts the shot up, no good. Oh, nope, she's fouled. She's fouled on the ground. Cat's ball underneath the basket, 6.23 left in the third quarter. Cats with some mass substitutions. They sub everybody out except for Maddie Tridel and Samantha Ewenkamp. Oh, there's only four people on the floor for the Wildcats. And they had to call timeout. There's only four players on the floor for the Wildcats. So full timeout for Coach Hayes. 39 to 13, Raiders. The Wildcats will come out of the timeout. Well, there's four, only four players out on the floor for the Wildcats once again. <laughs> and Coach Hayes was trying to make a substitution. The substitution came in too late. So apparently they are telling him Oh, nope, they bring Jessica Eaton back out on the floor, which. <coughs> so 
Cruz, Novi, Eaton, Miller, and Camp out for the Wildcats. And the ball is deflected back out of bounds for the baseline. Cats ball. We have six minutes and 20 seconds to go, 39-13. What? It is kind of hard. Uh, number 32, Alicia Kimball uh, with a steal. She kicks it ahead. Up to number 52, Caitlin Wilder. She's got the third three of the night. Um, she's got 13 total points. She's uh, been able to do it all tonight. She's hit a couple threes, and she's drove to the lane. Samantha Camp takes a quick three. Um, there's a foul on the rebound. Shot no good. So there's a special ref here tonight. There's a spe uh, special ref. It's Kim Park from Midland. There's a special ref here. Kim Park from Midland tonight. Matt Weiss and uh, Sidney McCarthy would know him from Midland. Um, rebound Riley Malone. Uh, Samantha Camp kicks ahead. Jessica Eaton. Uh, back to Camp. Camp to drive. Kicks it out to Jacqueline Whitson. Swings it to Eaton. Oop. And there's a travel on Jacqueline Whitson. Another turnover for the Wildcats. Gotten a couple decent looks this half. But no points so far. Um, number 32 for the Raiders. Alicia Kimball has 16 points. Uh, and number 52, Caitlin Wilder has 13. Leading the charge for the Raiders. Samantha Camp is the leader for the Wildcats with six. Um, Jessica Eaton is in the lineup right now. She has three as well. Others scoreless. Raiders come out with a little flare screen down to the pin down. Oh, kicked ball, not called. Going down, wildcat ball. You want this back? You can do it for Okay. Oh, turnover for the Wildcats on the inbounds against the press. Uh, Jacqueline Whitson turns the ball over. Raiders retain possession. <laughs> Raiders with a nice out of bounds play. Ooh, but it's deterred by Samantha Yellen Camp with a nice block. Screen the screener action again for the Red Raiders, but they kind of get jumbled up. Wildcats lose them. Get a free shot, no good. Raiders retain possession as the ball is deflected out of bounds by it looked like Samantha Yellen Camp. Screen the screener again. Wildcats lose, <laughs> lose them, but retain. Uh, they got no good. They didn't get a good look on that. So Yulin Camp comes over. Ooh, foul on Samantha Yulin Camp on the shot number 32. Alicia Kimball will go to the free throw line. That is Yulin Camp's third. Maddie Tridel will check back into the ball game. Kimball's first shot up, no good. The side of the rim. Nope. Tridal will check in for Malone. And Alicia Kimball's second one is good. Raiders. Raiders still with the press. Up 30 in the third quarter. Shots up. No good. Deflected off the Raiders. Yep. And Wildcat ball. Kimball now has 17 points on the game. Wildcats ball underneath. And finally get it in. Camp shot up. No good. Good hustle by Maddie Fleming. She gets a rebound. Maddie Tridel with the shot. No good. 
Cats scrapping, can't get a board. Raiders kick it ahead. Uh, 54 motion with the drive, kicks it out to Kimball, who drives, he's a good player, goes left hand, right hand, puts the shot up, no good. Kicks ahead to Maddie Tridal. Maddie Tridal to Eaton. Layup, no good. Ooh, there's a foul on the Wildcat. Looks like 45, Maddie Fleming. Yep. Oh, she, the girl stumbled over her foot. Wildcat girls playing man to man here. Ooh, good defense by Jacqueline Whitson. That's unable to get the steal, but gets a deflection on it. You have a freshman Whitson, you have a freshman Tridal, and you have a freshman uh, Fleming out there for the Wildcats right now, along with uh, senior Jessica Eaton and uh, junior Samantha Ewenkamp. Tridal to the rim and shots up and good. Contact could have. Yeah, five points for Maddie Tridal. Double dribble now on the drive for uh, Caitlin Wilder in 52. She's also a freshman. She's a very nice player. She has 13 points right now. Can shoot it well. She drives well. And she plays a little defense. Nice, nice freshman for, for the Raiders. Uh, I guess I'll start telling some stories here. Uh, one time from, you were in college. <laughs> from one time when I was. <laughs> tell, tell Cronin to hang up. And then uh, Dr. Cronin, call. please hang up and um, the broadcast will continue. Uh, 43 15 Raiders, three minutes, 20 seconds to go. It's harder than it looks. <laughs> Mr. Ratliff is uh, going to be commentating for us Thursday night. In case you're not able to attend, um, he will be our broadcasting. Uh, the, he'll be here broadcasting the very first live stream, which will probably be heard by thousands. Wild Wildcat fans everywhere will be watching. Across the globe. <laughs> Globally. Uh, the uh, Raiders student section showed up in full force today. There's a shark sighting, a Katy Perry shark sighting. <laughs> Katy Perry shark sighting also in the building today. It's been very entertaining to uh, to watch. Wildcats ball starting off in the. <laughs> uh, Weiss, I think uh, D. Decker has told that story in his version about 20 different ways, 20 different times that you've already heard. So shot goes up from Fleming. Uh, this is no fun listening to this. Um, basket swung around the perimeter for the Raiders. Raiders look to post up. Good defense possession here so far for the Cats. Good steal by Maddie Tridal. Maddie Tridal looks to run and buckets up. Nope, she's fouled. Shot is up. She's fouled. She fouled a few times in transition tonight. Try 
title's first shot is up and good. <laughs> Courtney McGovern and Maddie Miller will check in for the Wildcats. And Maddie Tridal's second shot is up and good. <laughs> Nothing but net. Both shots. Raiders follow up with a kick ahead. Uh, oh. Falls over. Turnover. Raiders. Uh, kind of motion was unable to keep her feet there. Kind of just turned it over out of bounds. Wildcats ball, 43-17. Uh, full timeout was called by Coach Hayes. Coach McGovern said he would he would love to broadcast the fourth quarter of the game for us, so we'll call up a guest commentator for the fourth. I got nothing. Uh. Nice gym up here at Dunkerton. Timeout is finally over. Keep getting some crazy looks from the crowd. Not used to seeing me with a headset. All right, Wildcats ball. Two minutes, 30 seconds to go in the third. <coughs> Team fouls, five for the uh, Raiders. And yep, four for the for the Raiders. Shots up from Maddie Miller, no good. Young Raiders team too. Uh, number 40 is out there right now, sophomore. 24, Holland is a sophomore. 52, uh, Wilder's a freshman. And two seniors. First shot is up for motion and he's good. Emily Kramer checks in the game for Maddie Fleming. Motion's second shot is up and good. 45-17 Raiders. Courtney McGovern kicks it ahead to Emily Kramer, who swings it to Camp. Camp with the left-handed drive, picks it up, swings it to Kramer, swings it to Tridal, down to Miller, back out to Tridal. Good ball movement by the Cats. Camp takes a contested three, but it's no good. Rebound Camp. Oh, Maddie Miller. Uh, with the shot, but they called a travel. Wildcats come out in the press. And full court man to man, it looks. Number 32, Kimball with the drive. Kicks it to 52, Wilder, who goes up and good. Dunkerton team is very quick with the ball. Maddie Tridal on the drive, no good. On the rebound, deflected out on the Raiders. The Wildcat ball. Wildcats running their box set out of bounds, coming to the corner, swings it up. Screen for Camp. free three in the corner or two pointer. Is up and good. Seen that one work quite a few times this year. We might have run it ourselves. Kimball swings it to Boshan. Boshan to Kimball. Kimball up, no good. Emily Kramer, the rebound, pushes ahead to McGovern. McGovern shot up, no good. 
Okay, Manny Miller with the rebound, but it was also touched by the Raiders. Out of bounds uh, goes to the Wildcats. Hannah Johnson and Hannah Jacobson check in for the Raiders along with Hannah Heiderman. So three Hannahs check in into the game at the same time here. Yeah, crazy. Ewan Camp, up. No good, gets blocked. A rebound, Maddie Miller, but she's out of bounds. 35 seconds left in the third quarter. Sorry, I forgot to clarify that Cody Ratliff will be in North Lynn watching the Albernet. Uh, Wildcat game starting at 6 o'clock on Thursday. Commentating to you live. Giving us an old old school coach's uh, perspective. His wife let him out, wife's letting him out of the house. Can't say that one. Can't say that one. His wife's letting him out of the house on Thursday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, He could hear me. You want an Anawan assassin story? <laughs> yeah. If you wanted to know an Anawan assassin story, Google it. It's probably there's a there's probably an article about it. You can probably read about it. Is that like snipe hunting? Yeah. <laughs> it's like snipe hunting. The Drive by Eulenkamp. Um, no call. So it will be the end of the third, and Jason McLaughlin would love to take back over to start the fourth quarter. Everyone give a, give a round of applause out in the crowd somewhere in Central City, Cedar Rapids, South Africa, <laughs> Europe, wherever you are listening tonight. Tanner Carlson did a great job. And just for the record, uh, that comment about Cody Ratliff, let his wife letting him out, that did come from me, not Tanner. So Tanner does not deserve any negativity, Ashley. It's all Jason McLaughlin. <laughs> uh, the fourth quarter is going to be underway. Wildcats are going to have the ball first. Eight minutes left, down 47-19. The Wildcats are going to need a big defensive stance and a lot of three-pointers. Katie Delaney just piped in with a snipe hunting comment. <laughs> we Katie doesn't know anything about snipe hunting. Sam Eulenkamp opens up the fourth quarter with a three-pointer, goes off the back iron long, long the sidelines, rebounded by the Raiders. Alicia Kimmel brings the ball down, gives it to Wilder. Wilder hits a three-pointer. It's good. She's undercut by Courtney McGovern. Wilder gets up limping. McGovern's going to be called for the foul, her second of the night. The three-pointer is going to be good. Possibility of a four-point play for Wilder. She's had a heck of a night. She's got 18 on the night as a freshman. She's a shooter. Wilder at the line. Free throw is good. Completes the four-point play. Kind of an unusual play you don't see very often in high school basketball. McGovern takes the ball down. They called me a silent killer, not a silent assassin. Just for clarification for the record, he is not. Tanner Carlson was not the Anawan assassin. He was the silent killer, which means he, he quietly scores 45 on you. You don't see it coming because he's short. 
Everybody, Everybody else is tall. Wilder, Wilder with the three pointers. pointers. Misses, Misses the iron. The iron. Working, working the government rebound, rebound going, going coast to coast. To coast. Wilder, Wilder stops her, passes up, and Fleming at three. Fleming puts up the three. Looks like it got blocked. Gordon McGovern. McGovern. Looks like they're going to call a tall attack foul. Foul on Gordon McGovern. Maddie Fleming, Fleming shot Fleming a shot three pointer. Looks like he got, looks like he got locked. locked. Courtney grabbed the ball, the ball with one of the one of the Raiders. Raiders. Looks like they both had the ball. They ended up calling a foul on Courtney. Maybe a Maybe jump. They call a jump ball, ball or a foul on her original. They called a jump ball. Looks like they called a jump ball. Like like they called they called a jump ball. And <laughs> after the jump ball, Courtney took the ball and. In a little bit of frustration, spikes the ball in the ground. I don't think there was any negative intention there. It's more of a frustration of trying to get the ball away. Uh, but they did call a technical foul on Courtney. So number 24, Maddie Howland, will be shooting for the Raiders. She makes the first free throw. 52 to 22 here. 6.50 left in the fourth quarter. Howland's second free throw. Is good. The Raiders, I'm not sure what their shooting percentage is from the line, but I can't imagine they've missed more than two or three free throws tonight. They're probably shooting around 90%, maybe greater. They've done a good job at the free throw line. Now you put Miss Automatic, Alicia Kimball, at the line. She has been amazing at the free throw line. I don't think she's missed one. She made her first one. Nothing but net. Kimball has a pretty good shot. Nothing but net again. So it's going to be the Raiders ball out of bounds, 55-22 Raiders. Maddie Fleming playing tight defense. Wow, heck of a shot by number 32, Alicia Kimball. Kimball's had a good night here. She's got 21. Between Kimball, the senior, and Wilder, the freshman, those two have been hard to stop tonight. Wildcats put up a shot and miss. Howling, the point guard with the ball, looks like Looks like they're going to run clock, but Kimball drives in and hits the bottom of the iron. Misses Sam Eulenkamp with the ball. Sam brings it down. Looks like she's going to go coast to coast, di diving through the lane. Nice little kiss off the backboard. Good shot by Sam Eulenkamp. 24 for the visiting Wildcats. Sam Eulenkamp with a swat. Manny Treadle with the ball in the fast break. Looks at Jessica Eaton. Out on the wing, hits Fleming in the corner, who shoots a three, it's good, nothing but net. Here come the Wildcats. 27 for the Wildcats, 540 left in the, the game. There's still a lot of game left. Play a little bit of defense and hit a few threes, you never know what can happen. Kimball with the ball up top. She looks like she really wants to drive in and score some more points. She's got that look in her eye. She just dribbled in a complete circle around the entire frame of the gym. She's back at the half court line. Three sets. Maddie Fleming come and meets her. Knocks her to the ground. It's like the senior, Kimball the senior. Looks like she's going to the line to shoot one and one. That's the ninth, ninth team foul and the second on Fleming. Park comes over to the scorer's table, just double checks and triple checks how many fouls are up there. Make sure it's a one and one situation. Park does a real good job, he's a thorough guy. McCarthy knows him, he was her high school softball coach. Shout out to Cindy McCarthy for that. I think Cindy McCarthy should have asked him to maybe make a few calls for the Wildcats tonight. Of course, Mr. Park is a lot, much of a professional referee. He would never do anything like that. Kimball missed her first free throw. Leaves the door open here for the Cats. And Camp brings the ball down. Pick set by Jacqueline Whitson. They do a little screen and roll. Whitson shoots a three. Off back iron. Novi with the rebound. Back up. She's going to get fouled. McKenna Novi with a nice battle for the boards there. 
She's going to be fouled by number 22, Hannah Heideman. One of the three Hannahs on the Raiders team. Novi misses the first free throw. Here comes Wilder. Wilder's checking in for Kimball. Kimball has 21 in the night. Wilder's got 19. They've been a dynamic duo. Novi hits the second free throw. Cuts the lead to 29. Pretty vicious pick set in the backcourt against Shelby Malone. They're not going to call a foul on that against Malone. Could have gone either way there. It's going to be the Raiders ball out of bounds underneath their basket. Tipped by Fleming. Stolen by Camp. Looks like there's going to be another foul on Hannah Heideman. Looks like it's going to be her second. Team foul eight. Sam Eulenkamp's going to be shooting one and one for the Wildcats with 4.33 left in the, in the game. The fans were asking for that sultry voice to come back. <laughs> Sam, Sam, <laughs> Sam Eulenkamp misses the front end of one and one. Playing tough defense. Wilder comes across half court. Wilder dribbles around the ring of the, of the court. She gets the ball out of the three point line. Takes a look, thinks about shooting it. Passes over to Howland. Howland looked into Maddie Robeson. Thought about show, throwing it to Ro Robinson. Raiders are passing the ball around. Wilder shoots up another three-pointer, a little bit short. Ball goes out of bounds. Wildcats ball, we got a running clock here. It's 57-28, 3.40 left. Sam Mullenkamp passes the ball to Whitson, over to Fleming. Fleming shoots up a three, short. Mullenkamp battling down low with two girls, can't quite get a handle on it. Howland for the Raiders brings it across half court. Shelby Malone. Riley Malone, check that. Riley Malone called on the foul. Riley playing tough defense against Howland as she crossed the half court line. Howland shooting two here. That's the 10th team foul for the visitor, visiting Wildcats. This is the front end. It's like Maddie Miller and Jessica Eaton, the two seniors are coming in for Fleming and Eulenkamp. Sam Eulenkamp and Maddie Fleming take a, take a seat at the end of the bench. Howland's second free throw is good. 58 for the Raiders, 28 for the Wildcats. Jessica Eaton brings the ball across half court. Looking around, picks up her dribble, doesn't have anyone to go to. Ball's tipped. Picks up her dribble again. The freshman Wilder presses her. Looks like she got eaten on the wrist. It's gonna be Wilder's third. That's the 10th team, ninth team foul. Eaton will be shooting one and one. Couple of subs come in off the bench for the Raiders. Wilder takes a seat. Wilder ends her night with 19. Eaton hits the front end of the one and one. 310 left in the game, 58-29. Raiders. Emily Kramer's checking in. McKenna Novi with the rebound on the miss. Put back, bounces around. Looks like they're gonna call Novi over the back. Emily Kramer's gonna check in for Novi. 3.05 left. We're in the double bonus. The Raiders are in the double bonus. And next foul, the Wildcats will be shooting too as well. 3.05 left, 58-29 Raiders. Hannah Heideman at the 
free throw line, misses the front end of two. This second shot is good. Heidemann with the free throw makes it 59-29 with 3.04 left in the game. Jacqueline Wetson brings the ball over half court, pressed by Howland. Over to Eaton, Eaton dribbles baseline, gets a pick from Kramer, dribbles back out to the top of the key, finds Riley Malone. Wildcats are doing a good job of moving around without the ball still. Eaton shoots up a three, it's long. Emily Kramer with the defense. Emily Kramer and Hannah Heideman going hard after the ball. Looks like it's gonna be a jump ball. Heideman's got a little fire in her. Those little basketball players got a little fight in them always, I know. Carlson was one, I was one. Ratliff thinks he was a basketball player. Carthy for sure was a basketball player. Raiders have the ball, pass to number 42. It's a, a new player, it looks like. I'm not sure who it is, we'll just say Number 42. Crowd is cheering for her to score. She makes the first one. Raiders hit the 60 mark with 202 left. She makes the second. Raider fans are pretty excited. The substitute made a couple of free throws. It's always nice to see some young kids get some action in the game and do well. Emily Kramer with the ball, passes, anticipates a cut. Raiders steal the ball. Raiders drive down. Number 14, Hannah Johnson with the drive off the glass. 63 points for the Raiders. Riley Moan with the three off the backboard, off the back iron. Hannah Johnson with the rebound. Double dribbles in the backcourt. She was pressed by Jessica Eaton and Jacqueline Whitson. Wildcat ball, 122 on a running clock left. Jessica Eaton and Maddie Miller come out. The two seniors take a seat on the end of the bench. They've done a great job for us. We really appreciate all they've done in their years here. And wish them well in graduation and on. Maddie Tridel, Emily Kramer, Riley Malone, Jacqueline Whitson, and Maddie Fleming on the court. Whitson with the shot, tipped. Tipped by number 44, Hannah Jacobson. Bailey Hudson, freshman, is in. Dunkerton crowd is wanting her to shoot the ball. Hannah Johnson being defended by Jacqueline Whitson. Clock runs down to 31-30. Whitson reaches and can't quite get the steal. Whitson with the steal. Oh no, they're gonna call her for a foul. Whitson goes for the steal on Bailey Hudson and gets called for the foul. There's 24.6 seconds left. Bailey Hudson's gonna go to the line. Shooting two. Hudson with the free throw. Makes it 64. Emily Kramer is going to take a seat. Maddie. Gabby Cruz comes in for Maddie Flum, for Emily Kramer. Hudson with the second free throw. No good off the front iron, off the rim. Maddie, Gabby Cruz with the ball. Passes over to Riley. Malone, Riley looks. He's Maddie Fleming. Jacqueline Whitson with the ball. 12 seconds left. Clock's coming down. Maddie Fleming with the jump shot, blocked. Ball goes out of bounds, five seconds left, four, three. This is gonna end it here. One, that's the game. Dunkerton Raiders win it 64-29 against the Wildcats. Wildcats had a great year. We wish them luck and good luck to the boys next week as they go to North Lynn against Albernet be a tough Tri-Rivers battle and look for a big upset from our Wildcats. I know they got them in them.